after downloading Arena 4D from our website, www.visus.com. Double click on the installer and accept the software license agreement. Click next to continue. Default or previous installation directory is shown, although you may alter this location. Click next to continue. Click next again at component screen and then choose whether to have a desktop shortcut. At the ready to installed screen click install once happy with the setting selected. Installation is very quick and often less than 20 seconds. Although quicker machines will improve on this time. Shown here in real time it really is a quick and simple process. Once installation is complete, click finish selecting whether to launch Arena 4D. Arena 4D loads and displays the login screen. When prompted enter your login details for your license. The save details tick box will save having to enter these details each time. Arena 4D continues to quickly load and displays the splash screen. This screen displays version and build information with relevant highlights. Click continue and the Arena 4D main window is displayed and ready for use. Now we are going to see how to load a point cloud and perform some basic cloud functions. There are two ways to load a point cloud or clouds into Arena 4D. The first is to select, file, open file, point cloud. The second and most used way is to right click in the 3D view and select, add, point cloud. You will also notice here all the other data types available in Arena 4D. The load window is very important and is split left and right. The right side shows clouds that can be streamed from the Zapcha cloud service. The left side shows clouds that can be loaded from the local drive used in the professional version as shown. You can change the drive directory location and also use the shift and control keys to select more than one cloud file as per Windows File Explorer. Once selected click open. The point cloud or clouds should be displayed near instantly, but if not using local files with a professional version, the streaming and display speed from Zapcha Cloud will be reliant on your internet connection. Double click with the left mouse button to center the point of rotation and zoom. Left mouse button will now rotate around this point and mouse will will zoom in and out on this point. Clicking the paint can icon at the top will turn the icon amber, forcing all point clouds to color mode. Note cloud file will need color information. The next icon is filling which enhances the look of the cloud making it more solid in appearance. This will be more noticeable on clouds with a low density and is often a default on option, and definitely worth experimenting with. On the left hand side we have the super sampling options, the more color in the icon towards the top generates a higher sample rate. Generally the top option will be very demanding on the graphics card reducing performance slowing the movement down. Experiment to find one which give a good visual and performance combination. Enter the properties for the point cloud by right-clicking properties, or selecting the properties icon as shown. You can scroll the properties up and down using the bar or mouse wheel. Note quality and point size. Change the point size from the default of 2, this can be useful to make the points bigger or smaller depending on the cloud density. Opacity tick box will apply a transparency which is often referred to as X-ray. This option is extremely useful and should be performing well as shown. If you are not seeing this level of performance then there may be some graphics card options to change. Please contact a member of the support team at support at visas.com.